Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and thanks for watching our Muslim Fitness Weight Loss series. This is series number four, Counting Calories. Now, firstly, what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of heat or energy. One of the ways that we use this unit of measurement is to know how much energy our food is giving us. All foods have a measurement of energy or calorie. Do we have to count calories? Is it essential? This, of course, depends on your goal. If you're on a weight loss journey or a fat loss journey, uh, if you're looking to gain muscle or bulk, um, if you're looking to sustain an active life in a healthy way, or if all you want is a good overall health, yes, we here at Muslim Fitness believe that you should count your calories. Yes, we know it's boring, it's tedious, it can be long, um, but in the end, uh, it will really help you attain your goal, whatever that may be. So why are we counting calories? We're counting calories to gain knowledge. We want to know how many calories we need every day to sustain a healthy lifestyle. We want to know how many calories we're taking in in an individual meal or in a snack so that we don't exceed the amount of calories that we should be taking in and end up obese. Don't forget, knowledge is power. And it's the case with counting calories as well. Now, we definitely don't want to be counting calories and developing some kind of obsession over it. We don't want to develop any kind of food disorders. We're counting calories for knowledge. We need to know how many calories in, how many calories out to create a balance and have a healthy lifestyle. It's about enjoying life. So once we've crunched all the numbers and we've figured out what our portions should be for each of our meals and each of our snacks, um, it's a matter of balance and enjoying life. Once in a while you might want to go back to these numbers just to reset your counters if you see that your results aren't being attained. To count your daily calorie intake, you'll need the following. One, you need to know what your daily caloric needs are. Are of course depending on your goals depending on your activity level everybody has a specific calorie need so calories in calories out now for this the website below will help you in finding that information Next, you need to decide how many meals, how many snacks you're going to have per day. So is it three meals and two snacks? Are you having just five small meals? You decide what it is that you need to satisfy yourself. You'll need to figure out what your macronutrient requirements are. So for example, how much protein do I need? How much carbohydrates do I need? And how much fats do I need? every day. You can take a look at our video series carbohydrates. This will help you figure out how to break down or calculate your different groups. You'll also need a food calorie chart. So whether you want it on paper or you want it online below, please take a note of the website that we use. It's a great tool. You can find out the calories for all types of foods in this website. We use it all the time. Great stuff. And you will need a food scale. Yes, you need to weigh your food to know how many ounces you'll be eating. All right? So a food scale, preferably a digital one. They're more precise. So let's do an example together. Now, say uh, Mr. or Mrs. X requires 2,000 calories per day at three meals and two snacks. Each meal would be approximately 565 calories and each snack would be approximately 150 calories. Now remember the macronutrients rule of thumb, 40, 40, 20. 
40% protein, 40% carbohydrate, and 40% healthy fat. Which would translate for this individual to 226 calories of protein, 226 calories in carbohydrates, and 113 calories in fats per meal. So she knows or he knows how many calories per macronutrient in one meal. As the source of protein, the person will choose chicken breast. How much chicken breast equals 226 calories? So how much chicken breast do I need to eat in weight to equal 226 calories? Well, I need to go to my food chart now, my paper food chart or my online food chart, and figure that out. What the chart is telling me is that 7 ounces of chicken equals approximately 226 calories. So I will weigh my chicken breast and I will take a portion of 7 ounces. So for the carbohydrate, same strategy. How much sweet potato in ounces do I need? to equal 226 calories. Uh, I'll check my food chart and it gives me the answer. 10 ounces of sweet potato will equal approximately 226 calories. Now for my healthy fat, or how much fat do I need to have 113 calories worth? The fat of choice would be olive oil, for example. If I check my food chart, three quarters of a tablespoon. So three quarters of a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil will give me approximately 113 calories. There you have it. That's one meal. And you do this for all your meals until you've covered the um, plethora of food choices that you may make on a daily basis. Uh, once you've got all this information down, please do write this information down. Try to um, maybe create a chart and uh, note down the information just to facilitate things for yourself the next time around and eventually you'll have a nice personal data, data bank that you can refer to at any time. We hope that this information is useful in helping you get one step closer to your goal. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Ma